History has hundreds of great leaders who improved the lives of their people, and brutal tyrants who oppressed and murdered them, but few individuals that could be considered both. Mao Zedong is one of these people. While men like Joseph Stalin and Adolf Hitler have been utterly condemned for the deaths they caused, Mao is still viewed by many as a great leader, despite being responsible for just as many deaths. This image of Mao, created in 1950 from a photograph, is his official portrait. The image itself is simple. Mao is dressed in a plain dark gray wool suit, with no medals or decorations. The expression on Mao's face is calm and wise, the determined look of a leader. Nothing about him is out of place. From his perfectly trimmed and combed hair to his pressed shirt collar, he is perfectly posed to convey an image of someone in charge, someone in control, someone who knows what is best for his people. But Mao wasn't always right, and his people suffered for it. It is estimated that between 50 and 70 million Chinese people were killed by the Chinese government while Mao was in power. For being one of the greatest murderers of all time, we would think that Mao would be reviled, especially in China. Yet his portrait still hangs above Tiananmen Square in Beijing today, and Mao's face is on all Chinese currency. Why is this the case? Perhaps the reason is because under his rule, China did grow and modernize, and it continued to grow after his death in 1976. Unlike the Soviet Union, the People's Republic of China didn't collapse and is today a thriving world power. Does the success that China has experienced change how Mao Zedong is viewed? Does it allow us to forget the millions of people that died because of his actions? Whatever he's called, one thing is certain, the world will remember Chairman Mao.